I'm Anil Kumar. Here is another practice question where we'll apply Lee Hospital's rule to find the limit. The question is, find limit when x approaches 0 for e to the power of x minus 1 minus x minus x square over 2 divided by x cubed. Now before the application of the rule, what should we do? We should check whether we really have the required indeterminate form or not. To check, I will substitute x equals to 0 in the given quotient of functions. So when I write x equals to 0, I get e to the power of 0 minus 1 minus 0 minus 0 over 2 divided by 0 cube and that is e to the power of 0 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, these terms are already 0, so we get 0 over 0. Since we get 0 over 0, which is the required indeterminate form, we could apply the Lee Hospital's rule. Right? The application of Lee Hospital's rule is basically that the limit of the ratio or the quotient of functions is same as the limit of their derivatives. So we'll do derivative of the numerator, which is e to the power of x minus 1 minus x minus x squared over 2 divided by derivative of x cubed. So that gives us limit x approaches 0, e to the power of x, this is 0, this is minus 1, and here we get minus 2x divided by 2 divided by 3x squared. Now, now, we could simplify this and rewrite this as limit x approaches 0, e to the power of x minus 1 minus x over 3x squared. At this stage, let us again check if the rule can be applied the second time. So to check, we'll substitute 0 here. So if I substitute 0, I get 1 minus 1 and that is minus 0 divided by 0 and this is indeed 0 over 0. So that means I can again apply the Lee Hospital's rule. Is that okay? So I'll again apply Lee Hospital's rule in this particular case and so we can write this as limit x approaches 0 derivative of numerator which is e to the power of x minus 1 minus x divided by derivative of denominator which is 3x square. This is equal to limit x approaches 0. That gives us e to the power of x that is 0. This is minus 1 divided by 6x. Now remember we can continue applying this rule if we get a stage which is indeterminate form. So it is good to check at every step. Here if I substitute 0, what do I get? I get 1, anything to the power of 0, minus 1 over 6 times 0 is 0. So it is 0 over 0, right? It simply means that we can again apply Lee Hospital's rule. So this example is kind of typical in a way that we could apply it a couple of times. So let's again apply the rule. We get limit x approaches 0, derivative of e to the power of x minus 1 divided by derivative of 6x and that is limit x approaches 0 and this is e to the power of x divided by 6. At this stage if I substitute 0 what do I get? I get e to the power of 0 over 6 which is 1 over 6. So the limit of this function is 1 over 6. So that is our answer. So our answer is 1 over 6. So as you have seen in this example, we can apply Lee Hospital's rule multiple number of times, but important aspect is that every time you apply, you should check whether we have an indeterminate form or not. It is important to check Otherwise, you can do a mistake. I'm Anil Kumar, and I hope that helps. 
you can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.